This is the, the, the aim of these uh, paintings is to sell to the people uh, and uh, uh, that profit, that proceeds will go to new monastery. Uh, and uh, because now uh, 20, 25, 2561 Buddha Jayanti coming tomorrow, mm -hmm. yeah, so all the proceeds uh, we are making it 20,000 20, each painting, 20,000 rupees only. So all the proceeds will go to Gumba and uh, those artists who were here from Kathmandu and Pokhara stayed here, stayed here for three days and we feed them, we fed them, all the food, accommodation, we, we, uh, so we spent about 300,000. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. Four lakhs to feed them. Uh, feeding them and accommodation. Yeah. So uh, in in return they gave us they gave us these uh, all about the Buddhas and then we are going to sell we are trying to sell it. Thank you. Ah, I was about sending it uh, to Europe. Do you know how which way to do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. There there are. Uh, cost, huh? And cost of sending. Yeah, cost uh, of sending lectures to take. Yeah, yeah. I have to speak to the people who deal with this. They can send it. Mm -hmm. uh, to to DHL, your address, there is a DHL. There are a lot express, of um, express. Mm -hmm. They can send it. Uh -huh. So we need to adjust the price. Yeah. Okay. I okay. can find out. I will take measurement mm -hmm. and tell them. You know, this is not very heavy, but this is Gentle. size is you know width it's and, and yeah. And I can find out uh, the price because they are very close to where I live. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who deal with the sending parcels abroad. Okay. Uh, that can be done easily. I can, if you are interested. Earthquake in Nepal. So we are going to build a new monastery, which will be 
like this. This is the front view, and this is the rear view. So this is the monastery, four story, four story building will be built here on the open space. And then this is the rear view where this bridge will allow people to go inside the monastery, uh, the ground floor, which will be a multi-purpose big hall where we can do meeting, seminar, meditations, uh, so this will allow people on a wheelchair to go inside and do the practices, Buddha Dharma practices, meeting, attending the meeting. And then first floor, second, third. First floor, it will be Gumba. On the first floor, there will be three big statues of Buddha, Guru Padma Sambhava, and Father Changreji on the first floor. And then second floor, it will be a room for Rinpoches. Rinpoche's um, room uh, and art, there will be art gallery on the top, library uh, uh, to, to keep books of all the religion, not only Buddhism but also Hindu, Islam, Christianity, we, can, we are hoping to keep all uh, major religion of the world so that people can come and study books of other religion as well. So this is a very big project, and uh, here we are. We are. We are, we are trying to show the guru, typical guru uh, houses in the hills. It's built with stone, cut stones. So on the ground floor, up to window level, we are going to have a stone, cut stone uh, walls, and then here on the top, it's a slate, slate on the top. So. That you can say easily, this is the Gumba age belongs to Gurung, Gurung community, because of that identity on the top and then here also. So that is our uh, plan, and we are going to start. The architect engineer have already started, uh, finished his uh, finished his work, the, pro, uh, the designing, and then the structural engineer also have done his bit. So we are now in the process of. Um, uh, calling for a contractors to start building the new monastery. And the total budget for the monastery is 10 crore rupees, uh, 10 crore rupees, which is a, a huge amount. And I am being the fundraiser coordinator, fundraising coordinator. So far we have collected uh, just over 5 crore rupees. And we need five more crore to build this new, bigger, new version um, uh, monastery for all the mon uh, for all the not only for the gurus but for those all who want to come and listen to Buddha Dharma, uh, the teachings. Uh, they are all welcome. So that's a big, huge pro uh, project, and we are through our internet, through our uh, Facebook, whenever we receive an amount from an individual or, a or from a group, we receive the money and uh, Tara, he puts, uh, she puts all the information on the internet, Facebook, saying, you know, so and so person uh, donated money for the new monastery. So we have been doing that and we also print in the local paper to, to inform, to let other people know that, you know, the monastery is now slowly the fund is coming up and getting bigger. So that is the plan, and hope uh, I hope that uh, you guys also, Dorota and the gentlemen, uh, through your circle, through your friends, through your relatives and contacts, uh, if you wish to donate whatever amount. Little, how little it is, it, it also make, makes sense and it is also for uh, accumulation of good karma. We, we, we can say that. In Buddha Dharma, whatever you give to the religious uh, um, institution, it is a very good thing um, and, uh, and, and accumulation of good karma. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can we also uh, want to uh, 
planning to finish, finish of building, uh, when you plan to finish it? The, pro uh, the paperwork is all done. Uh, project is all done? Project is already complete, the paper all the paperwork is complete. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, how many time it needs? Sorry? How many time it needs to... Ah, uh, how many? Uh, it, we are hoping about two years. Oh, yeah. Two years it will be ready, hopefully, because money we are halfway through. Five crore rupees is with us now, and there are um, other guru uh, communities they are collecting money. Uh, so within uh, next two years, we hope to have a new monastery here uh, ready for uh, for all Buddha Dharma practice. Thank you. Thank you, very much. I wanted to also ask uh, for. Uh, Tamu, uh, Tamu, uh, Tamu, 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 they, they are very old tradition, mm -hmm. very, very old tradition, came from Tibet. Uh, in Tibet, before even Buddha Dharma started, they practice um, um, this uh, tradition in Tibet long, long time ago. Uh, there are two, two sects, if you like. One, uh, uh, they, they sacrifice animals when they carry out different functions and the other party they don't they say no we don't want to sacrifice animals mm -hmm. so there are two different sects if you like uh, and they are bonism uh, seminism mm -hmm. seminism uh, in short born dharma uh, which which is very close to us they are all guru our guru uh, clans uh, but it's only the faith faith it differs, you know. We practice the strictly non, uh, no sacrifice of animals at all. Uh, uh, and then we practice purely the Buddha Dharma, according to the Buddha self philosophy. Uh, and then uh, the people who have faith in, um, uh, in their tradition, uh, Bonism, uh, as I said earlier, uh, one side they said, no, uh, it's our tradition we want to sacrifice animals and they still practice that mm -hmm. and the other side uh, also born uh, practices followers they say no uh, it's wrong we don't want to uh, killing or sacrificing animal is wrong so they are there are, they are two different opinions okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and faith if you like yeah. and I know uh, about the Buddha Arago Sadan yeah uh, before it was Nimba also yeah, it is. Uh, we follow the strictly Nyingma tradition but here. But no, now it's Kabyu. No, uh, no, 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 no. You, you, uh, uh, it's been always Nyingma's uh, uh, tradition. So we always we follow that. We always will follow. We we can't suddenly change the tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is the tradition we follow Nyingma, which is one of the oldest uh, tradition in uh, four. In four sectors of uh, four sects of uh, Buddhism. And Tamu cooperate with the Buddha? Uh, yeah, time to time we we have a good uh, relations with them. Uh, believing one faith and practicing the other faith, it's your individual choice. Uh, I cannot force or I cannot ask you to follow the Buddhism. It is best. I cannot. It's wrong. And you cannot say Christianity is the best dharma. Uh, come and come to our religion. Uh, it's individual's choice, uh, not based on blindly accepted. Uh, if you, if anyone accepts uh, tradition or dharma blindly, then I think in this uh, age and days, uh, in the 21st, 21st century, I think it's wrong. So you have to uh, study uh, seriously, look in, deep into the dharma, uh, the philosophy aspect of it, then then follow it. That's what Buddha says. Not, not blindly accept what Buddha says. He always says, you know, you must uh, take it uh, uh, thoroughly.
practice yourself and feel whether it is right or wrong. If it is wrong, fine, don't accept it. But if it is wrong, as if it is right, that I said, I have said, then follow it. So it is very modern, if you like. It's very um, scientific. The approach is very scientific in Buddhist philosophy. That's all I can tell. <laughs> You think uh, if we go there, uh, time will appear? Yeah, they, they, they can show you around. There is uh, someone? Uh, yeah, there will be, there will be people uh, in that area, they can take you inside. Hopefully there, there, there will be some. Or if you want to go a little bit later on, when we finish setting up, I can take you there. I can go you there because I live other side of the river. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I can take you What time? Uh, depends what time we finish here. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will just talk with End of last year, uh, uh, 2073, we both are sudden. Uh, we came to uh, in contact with the uh, the Nepalese painting artists from Kathmandu and Pokhara, and then because we are building a new monastery here, big new monastery here. Uh, we had a discussion with them uh, uh, for painting a Buddha's contemporary uh, painting, arts. Uh, and, and for that purpose, uh, they came and stayed here uh, for three days. Uh, and then we provided them accommodation and food. And then they did, did, did paintings uh, by these people from, uh, they were, most of them were the top artists, uh, painters in Nepal. Uh, most of them were uh, renowned and gold medalist uh, painters. And it, it took them three days to paint all these uh, paintings. We have managed to sell so far about nine or ten paintings so far. Uh, and then uh, we spent about four lakhs rupees on, on their accommodation and food and transportation. So all the, the sale proceeds from these paintings will go to the new monastery. Uh, and that's why they, they very kindly came from Kathmandu and Pokhara and stayed here and did all the paintings. For the purpose of building a new monastery, they help us, we are very grateful. Thank you very much. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.